Hello guys, after we did non-viscous flow simulation of the nozzle, I would like to continue with the viscous flow simulation. So, I will copy my project. I will name it as viscous. OK, and start to change my options. First of all, I would like to change mesh. When my mesh is loaded, I will start changing the options, the edge sizing. Now will 500 and the edge sizing will be 80. This is the minimal number of divisions with which we could create a good quality simulation. Also, I will set up the bias and the bias factor would be equal to 50. Now I will update my mesh. And look to its structure. We might observe quite dense la layer of cells near the boundary layer where we expect to have a gradient of velocity. Okay. On the axial direction, we see bigger cells. And the mesh structure is quite well defined according to the flow direction. Now, after we finished with the meshing, we go out from this tool and we set up the options for the viscous simulation. Here we may see all the initial data loaded, all the options. We will start to change the model. Viscous flow could be acceptable to select a K Omega model standard with curvature correction and with compressibility effects. The boundary condition remain the same. Now, the initialization will remain also the same. After initializing the flow, we could load previously saved interpolation data as initial conditions. We read on the surface from the previous project. OK, all the data was read. We have some warnings here, which will disappear during the simulation. Our current number is equal to 3. Let's see distribution of the flow at the initial moment. This is non-viscous flow picture which we received last time and now we will start from this position. I would like to calculate 4000 steps with current 3 and we'll see how my residuals would start to change. Now we can see drop of number of elements with viscosity problem. After some number of steps, these problems would disappear. And we have decrease of the residuals constantly in time. This simulation will take some minutes, so I will continue once it's finished. Once my solution is converged, I would like to change my method. 
to second order upwind method and would like to continue the simulation. Theoretically, this method will bring better quality solution. With this new option, our flow starts to converge faster. Now we may observe that solution converged approximately after 2700 iterations and we can start analyzing the flow properties. Distribution of the Mach number represents the velocity. We can see a small boundary layer, very thin near the throat and much more thicker near the exit of the nozzle. In the initial part, boundary layer is practically invisible. Now we can look to the distribution of flow profiles. Let's see the distribution on the outlet. Since it's vertical, direction we use y coordinate as a plot direction. This is the distribution of the pressure and the distribution of temperature. And here is the distribution of the velocity. We might observe this boundary layer near the wall. And in the core, our velocity is almost constant. Look into the temperature distribution. We might observe thermal boundary layer and the rise of temperature near the wall because of the friction is quite high, approximately from 700 to 1200 Kelvin. Calculation of the average properties can be done same as we did for inviscid flow. For example, creating the reports on the surface integral on the outlet of the velocity will give us the value. Here is the average Mach number on the exit. Also, same way we can receive other thermodynamic or the flow properties. Another way for the visualization and data processing is using the console and generation of the output files of average parameters. We can do it same as we did for non-viscous flow. Plot We take this command averages of let's choose Mach number on the surface of interior surface body number of points for example 100 points Calculation of the parameters and coordinates. And now we type the file name. Mark average text. Once this data is saved, we can visualize it. Here is the average values of the Mach number on the inlet and subsonic part of the nozzle. Then here we have our throat, Mach passing from subsonic to supersonic. And then distribution of Mach number on the supersonic part of the nozzle. Same way we do generation of data for any other flow properties and then we are able to form very nice report.
Please do not forget that visualization of some data, like a pressure distribution for example, is looking good in logarithmic coordinates. For example, going from classical linear distribution to the logarithmic distribution we can see quite nice behavior of the pressure. Also we can edge the view of our line. In this way. Then this data we can save into a file and form our report. Format picture, here, preview. If all the data looks nice, it will be the same inside your report. Let's visualize also the streamlines. We start them from the inlet, but this time we will require much more number of steps, because flow is viscous. Here is the distribution of the streamlines. We can color them into a different parameters, like a pressure distribution, for example. We can see high pressure and low pressure in the supersonic part. Calculation of the forces inside our nozzle can be done using the report tool. For example, I would like to calculate force on x direction on the wall. I have definition of the pressure forces, viscous forces and the total force in my system. Since I did not define the reference values, my pressure coefficients are not calculated correctly. We could see that the pressure forces are much higher than the viscous forces. This is why simulation of the nozzle in the viscous flow is not giving a big contribution into a total force. But from the opposite way, visualizing the temperatures, we might observe that this simulation is important in a special way for the heat transfer analysis and choice of material for the nozzle, since the temperature is high near the wall of supersonic part and also near the wall around the throat. Another important parameter, which we might need to visualize for the viscous flow, is representing the quality of the viscous solution, in particular the Y+, plus, which will be shown for the wall. Now it's very small thin curve, which could be improved in the options. For example, if I choose it equal to 3 pixel. Now we can see the values of Y+. Plus. In average they are around 10, smaller than 10, and here around 15, 17. Recommended value of Y plus for this simulation is around 15, so we are having good quality solution in the transition from subsonic to supersonic region. We could observe some elevation of Y plus near the initial part of the nozzle, but this problem is just because of the boundary conditions on the inlet and could be disconsidered for the practical application. In general, quality of solution is quite good and could be used for the validation with some analytical, experimental and inviscid flow simulations. Thank you for watching.